morning. Today is day two. This would be Sunday, August 28th, 2016. And it's time to mow four lawns today. Uh, what I'm carrying, it's all my all my paperwork. You have to have uh, your tax license and your, in well, you don't have to, but you should have your insurance with you and all that. Plus, I have a couple invoices uh, for my customers. So they have receipts that they paid. And I have a Gatorade, which is always needed. Forgot my iPod. All right, got my iPad, or got my iPod, rather. Uh, a couple things that I learned from yesterday real quick. Things that you will not forget. Sunscreen. I can't show you the front of it. Sunscreen. Uh, my neck was on fire last night. It's not bad, I'm not sunburned, but it definitely uh, put it to the front of my mind that I need to get sunscreen. My iPod, I need to make sure that I had that. And I just went out and bought some cheap Bluetooth uh, headphones. They're really cheap. They're probably not gonna last long. I uh, also brought my uh, extended uh, battery charger for my phone. And uh, oh, I bought a knee brace. I have a bad left knee, and I don't know why they're trying to figure it out now. But in the meantime, like I didn't think there was anything they could do about it. And it feels like it's about to cave in on me every time I'm walking and so it's really bad for weed eating but uh, I put this knee brace on last night I was walking around with it for a little bit it feels great um, obviously my knee pain is still there but it, it definitely feels like my knees uh, a little bit more secured and it's not gonna go anywhere it's actually really useful so I don't I'm not too concerned with my knee this time um, well I run a little bit behind it's 702 um, but we don't have to do anything when we get to uh, where my stuff is all we have to do is pull the push mower out and then we can go uh, I don't even have to put the hedge trimmer in there because look I still got sleep in my eye the lady texted me last night the one from the new estimate yesterday and said that she doesn't want the hedge trimming or the screening she just wants the weed eating or the cutting it shouldn't rain until 2 today we don't have any maintenance to do so we should be able to pick our stuff up go I gotta go to uh, the guy who's gonna leave his money in the mailbox I gotta go to his yard first thing this morning and then just work my way around I kind of want to do the big yard next uh, the one that was by the water that you saw yesterday or in the previous video and um, I want to go do that one next because it's so nice and it's gonna be so easy I think <clears throat> I'd rather get it done before it starts raining um, besides like it's the other property from the realtor so it's kind of kind of shown like I can do good work if I have like a good canvas to work with so hopefully I can get that one done next I don't know I gotta look at the map and see which one's closer but we're gonna go do those and uh, hopefully today goes a lot better than what happened yesterday we'll see all right so I think our first stops are gonna be uh, McDonald's because yesterday I didn't eat until I don't know like six something uh, it was the first time I ate all day yesterday which isn't bad I can stand to lose a little uh, weight but um, no I'm definitely hungry so I want to go ahead and pick up some quick to eat even though I think McDonald's gives me heartburn in the morning um, but it's the only only one on this road and then two we're gonna go get uh, a bag of ice for the cooler uh, I think one bag was plenty yesterday. I mean, it was melted by the time I got home, but it was still cold. And uh, I don't need two bags of ice. I don't want to come home with like another whole bag of ice still uh, not melted because now, now I'm just wasting it. So I'll get one more bag of ice. I'll get McDonald's and we'll head over and get our stuff. All right, it's 822. <laughs> I know I'm behind. Uh, I did not plan Want my dad to come out and talk to me for a while. He just wanted to come out and talk. But uh, that was cool. Um, and you always gotta make time for, for family. At least your close family. 
So uh sat there and talked to him for about a half hour. So now I still probably make it to the first customer around nine, which is kind of is what I estimated out yesterday, because I, I know me and I know there's always gonna be some issue. So at least I'm not really far behind from my schedule that I had chosen. And I think I even told the customer between eight and nine. All right, so we're at the first customer's house. It's nine o'clock. He said he's on his way. He'll be here in a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna wait for him, walk the property, and then uh, and then get the mowing. <clears throat> it's kind of a small yard, so it shouldn't be too bad. Just gotta look out for obstacles. All right, this was a good lawn. It was a little overgrown. It took me 45 minutes. Uh, from start to finish, it's including trimming and blowing and talking to the customer for a couple minutes. I know I can get this one down to a half hour easily. Um, I'm charging them 20 bucks per uh, cut. <clears throat> 25 today because it, it was longer and uh, <clears throat> I knew it was going to take longer. So 20 a cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I, did, I think I did a really good job on it. I think it looks really good right now. So I'm hoping some other people see that and uh, come over and ask them, you know, from my number or whatever excuse me i'm sorry about that so uh that's my hope <clears throat> done this one it's 10 o'clock now i'm on to the next one i got three more to go all right so i'm done this lawn it took me an hour and a half um mainly because i spent probably 45 minutes working on the trees they wanted me to go ahead and do a tree today but i didn't have my uh tree trimming equipment all i had was like a branch cutter and uh but i was like yeah i can go ahead and give it a try and uh, it just didn't work. I, I can only get one down. So now they went ahead and paid me for the trees and uh, they're let me do it next week when I come back. So they paid me 60 and the guy before them uh, paid me 45. He paid me 25 for the first cut and then paid me 20 for next week. So it's nice, like, I'm getting a lot of money today, but I'm also, uh, I'm screwing myself for next week because next week I'm not going to get as much money or eventually I'm not going to get as much money because I think they're going to keep paying forward. So we'll see. Uh, now it's on to the next lawn. So before we go on to the next lawn, I'm glad I didn't ask her if I can come over right now because uh, I'm thirsty. I am dying of sweat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some to drink from this Publix. Um, but before I do, I want to show you guys something. I think one of the most important things uh, you need in order to um, to do this business, at least so far from what I understand, is this right here. You see that? That is the unwavering, undying support that I get from my wife. And uh, it means a lot to me, especially after yesterday and after all the money I've put into this, you know, she could have just said, you're an idiot, don't do this anymore. I always come up with fantastic ideas uh, for businesses and they never work out because usually I go in business with somebody else and, and they fail, which is what happened to this one, but I'm just persevering. So uh, get yourself a good support group, a good support, uh, supportive person who's going to tell you, you know, look, you can do this, just keep pushing through it because um, it really does make all the difference in the world. Uh, plus side, it is noon right now and I've gotten done two lawns which as of yesterday I had wasn't even done the first lawn so I'm I'm at a good pace I got two more to do I don't know I might skip one until this week because I want to talk to the realtor about it before I go do it um, <clears throat> or I might just do it. it depends on how I feel after getting these drinks and doing this next yard um, just get it done and get it out of the way but so far so good time to go get something to drink all right so now I'm at the third lawn for today. I'm going to go see if they're home and then probably walk around and show you guys what I'm going to mow. Here we are. You see how about how tall the grass is. So, pretty big yard. The back's pretty big too. Alright, and there it is, finished. Um... You can see like the ground over here is wet. So the ditch is pretty thick as far as the rows go. 
but uh, yeah, it's it's all befished. All right, and so what I said for this one, and this is this is true, is what I've read that uh, you you don't want to cut more than a third of the grass at a time because that promotes growth. You can see their neighbor's yard, I believe, right there in that area. You can see their yard, and they're the same height. So the grass was pretty high. So I cut it at the highest setting. I did it for a reason. I did it to promote growth. And uh, I also did it because if you look at, I don't know if you can see, like, look, look through there. You see all the brown marks in there? That, that dude cut his grass too low. And uh, uh, he's killing his grass. It all worked out. It took me an hour to do this one, a little less than an hour uh, for 30. Otherwise, I mean, I feel pretty good about that one. I am getting sunburned pretty bad, even though I got some sunscreen on. Uh, where my sunscreen went, I just put some back on. Mm. Mm. So I did put some on before I went out there, and you can see, like, I am getting red. It is, uh... 1.30. I could go do the other lawn. But I think I'm going to wait because I can do it in the week. I'll just have my mom come watch uh, my boy and uh, get off work and go mow it because I don't, I want to go out there and walk with the realtor before I mow it. Um, just so I know I'm not screwing anything up. So, and I already did the one, so I want to talk to him about that one as well. That, that was the triplex. So I think I'm done for today. I think I'm going to go home. I got 30 for this lawn, 30 in an hour. It's not what I wanted, but it's not bad. I'm by myself. It is kind of a big yard. So you figure $30 an hour for the for the shop, $20 for me, $10 for the shop. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna head home and uh, clean up the gear and call it a day. Go hang out with the family for the last couple hours I have of Sunday before I have to go back to work.